The governorship campaign train of Senator Ademola Nuruddin Jackson Adeleke on Thursday landed in Malaysia, headquarters of Oshon East Senatorial District. <laughs> Received by jubilating supporters, Adimola Adeleke moved straight to the palace of Owa Obokon Adimola of Ijeshaland, or by Gabriel Adekonle Aromolano, to pay homage to the traditional ruler in Ijeshaland. <laughs> Speaking at the palace of Awa Obokun Adimola, Adeleke said he has track record of fulfilling his promises, stating that his stay at the National Assembly is enough to confirm this. The governor's candidate vowed to improve social amenities in Ijezalad when elected. <laughs> And I have a track record when I was a uh, senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We will not be able to do it. We will not be able to do it. I see the job at the place of the people who are in the any time. I am fully gone. I am sure because the suffering is too much. Every day, the dollar is not so good. Every day, the pound is not so good. We will not be able to do it. It is a village as the senatorial. Responding, Obaro Molano said, Ijeza land has been independent of government for long, stating that Ijeza's sons and daughters have been soldering the responsibility of the town. The monarch pray for the governorship candidate. Hey, independent of the government. Shortly after the homage, Adimola Adeleke and his team moved to the rally venue to meet the waiting supporters. Addressing the gathering, the Director General of the campaign, Honorable Sunday BC, informed the PDP loyalists that the party in Oshun is united and is one behind Senator Adimola Adeleke. <laughs> Now, the candidate addresses the crowd. Speaking with Inside Links TV, a senatorial aspirant for Ife Joshua, Mr. Benga Honegbogi, said the people of the state have seen the difference between PDP and the ruling APC, stating that this party is coming to restore hope and confidence. I'm happy the people of Oshun State, they've seen the difference between sun and the moon. They've seen the difference between darkness and light. They've seen that they've experienced 12 years of low-cost governance in Oshun, whereby all the resources of Oshun, they have been cut away to foreign land, which is Lagos. 
Now, PDP ruled for seven and a half years, and all the developmental projects executed on the ground to so far in the soon. But now, the people came from Lagos, they came in to loot the treasury of Osun. As of today, Osun State is owing close to 300 billion naira. And there's no single feasible project in Osun State that you can point, point to represent all the loans they've taken. All the loans have been looted and it's most unfortunate. The PDP is coming back to restore the confidence of the people, to bring back hope, to bring back good governance, which also said is used to under PDP government. From Elisha, Jari, Tiamiu, Inside Links TV.